Welcome to our channel. Today, let's delve into a profound and impactful story that has recently surfaced in the entertainment world. In recent news, the world has been captivated by the unfolding events surrounding Sean Diddy Combs. The renowned American record producer and music mogul has found himself at the center of a storm, with federal agents conducting raids on his homes in Los Angeles and Miami. While the investigations into allegations of sex trafficking, sexual assault, and involvement in illegal activities are underway, one particular aspect has caught the attention of the public, Diddy's private jet. Reports suggest that his jet was initially traced to Antigua, leading to speculation about his potential escape. However, as the situation continues to develop, new information has emerged, shedding light on the whereabouts and movements of the music mogul. The Raid on Diddy's Homes and the Missing Jet On Monday, March 25th, Federal agents, in collaboration with Homeland Security Investigations, executed raids on Sean Diddy Combs' homes in Los Angeles and Miami. The warrants for these searches were obtained from the Southern District of New York, and they were part of an ongoing investigation into allegations of sex trafficking, sexual assault, and involvement in illegal activities. While the raids unfolded, Diddy himself was nowhere to be found, raising questions about his location and potential involvement in the activities under investigation. Simultaneously, reports emerged that Diddy's private jet had landed in Antigua. This fueled speculation that he may have been attempting to flee the country to evade the federal investigation. However, a closer examination of the situation reveals a more complex narrative. The Jet's Movement and Conflicting Reports As news of Diddy's private jet landing in Antigua spread, an ex-user took it upon themselves to track the aircraft's movements. Using flight tracking software, the ex-user identified the jet, a blacked-out Gulfstream G550 with the registration N1969C, flying north of Puerto Rico. The ex-user's update suggested that the jet was descending towards Barbuda before unexpectedly turning and doing a 180 loop towards Antigua. The ex-user's tweet sparked further curiosity about Diddy's intentions and whether he was indeed on the jet. However, Conflicting reports and additional information complicated the narrative. While it was initially believed that Diddy's jet had landed in Antigua, further investigation revealed that the aircraft had turned off its radar signature moments after landing. This raised questions about the accuracy of the initial reports and the possibility that Diddy may not have been on the jet after all. Diddy spotted at Miami area airport. Amidst the speculation surrounding his private jet, Diddy was spotted at the Miami Opalaka airport adding another layer of intrigue to the unfolding saga. In a video obtained by TMZ, the music mogul appeared to be pacing around the airport, visibly tense, as investigators continued their searches of his properties in Miami and Los Angeles. This sighting contradicted the initial reports of his presence in Antigua and raised questions about the true nature of his involvement in the ongoing investigations. The Significance of Diddy's Presence in Miami Diddy's presence at the Miami airport holds particular significance, as it aligns with reports that federal agents had arrived at his Miami home earlier in the day. The fact that investigators confiscated Diddy's mobile phones before he could board a planned vacation flight to the Bahamas further underscores the connection between his activities and the ongoing federal investigations. While Diddy's exact role and level of involvement in the alleged activities are yet to be determined, his presence in Miami during the raid suggests that he was potentially a person of interest in the investigation. The allegations and lawsuits against Diddy, the raids on Diddy's homes and the subsequent investigations are rooted in serious allegations of sexual misconduct, sex trafficking, and other criminal activities. These allegations have been brought forward in multiple lawsuits against the music mogul. In November 2023, Diddy's former girlfriend, Cassandra Cassie Ventura, filed a lawsuit accusing him of rape, sex trafficking, and domestic violence. The following day, Diddy and Ventura reached a settlement in relation to the lawsuit. Later that month, another woman named Liza Gardner came forward, alleging that Diddy and singer-songwriter Aaron Hall had raped her and a friend in New York City over 30 years ago. These allegations, along with others that emerged in subsequent lawsuits, have cast a shadow over Diddy's reputation and triggered the federal investigations that led to the raids on his homes. The media's reaction and public speculation as news of the raids and Diddy's private jet circulated, the media and the public were quick to offer their own interpretations and speculations. Social media platforms buzzed with discussions about Diddy potentially fleeing the country and leaving his children behind during the raids. Some questioned whether he had been tipped off about the investigations, 
allowing him to plan an escape to a country without extradition agreements with the United States. Antigua and Barbuda, the twin island nation where Diddy's jet was initially traced, entered the spotlight as people speculated about its potential as a safe haven for the music mogul. However, it is important to note that extradition agreements between the United States and Antigua and Barbuda may still apply, depending on the nature of any arrest warrants issued. The continuing investigation. With the raids on Diddy's homes complete and investigations underway, the focus now shifts to gathering evidence, analyzing testimonies, and determining the extent of Diddy's involvement in the alleged activities. The federal agencies involved, including Homeland Security investigations, are committed to uncovering the truth and holding accountable those who have violated the law. The ongoing investigation will likely shed more light on the allegations and provide a clearer picture of the events surrounding Diddy and his private jet. Conclusion Sean Diddy Combs' private jet saga has captured the attention of the public as federal agents conducted raids on his homes in Los Angeles and Miami. Reports of the jet's landing in Antigua sparked speculation about Diddy's potential escape, but subsequent sightings of him at the Miami airport raised questions about his true whereabouts. As the investigations into allegations of sex trafficking and other criminal activities continue, the full extent of Diddy's involvement will be revealed. The saga serves as a reminder of the complexities surrounding high-profile individuals and the legal challenges they may face. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content. Your support means the world to us. Stay tuned for our next video, and remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you next time.